So I love this because we look at our Facebook pages for our business as an avenue to promote our business. And I, in, in 2013, really made a shift in my thinking that year. I realized that about 90% of what I do in my marketing isn't going to work the way I think it's going to. And as soon as I realized that, that freed me up. I am more than prepared to create 10 Facebook posts expecting only one of them to get the engagement and the result that I want. I'm prepared to create 10 Facebook ads before I find one that's really going to take off and work well. I know there's a lot of trial and error. As soon as I accepted that, it freed me up around my posting. I didn't get as discouraged when I posted something and I didn't get a response. And of course, everybody's talking about how your engagement on Facebook sucks and how nobody says anything and Facebook's out to hurt the small business owner and you don't get to see, nobody sees your posts anymore. There's some, if, if you're only posting about your business and yourself, that's going to be the truth and you're going to feel discouraged. I now look at my Facebook page as a way for me to do market research and learn more about my dream client. So I post the 80 20 rule is a big thing that I follow. So 80% of the time I'm posting content that will help me learn more about my, my dream clients will help me discover more about what they need so that I can create products and services that address those needs that inspires them, motivates them, educates them. And then I only spend about 20% of my time telling them about my business at all because I want to make sure that people are looking forward to my posts. I want to make sure they can answer them easily, quickly, and feel like they've contributed. I want them to feel like they're in a conversation with me when they see my post, that they know I'll respond to it. Um, and I always say to people, think about what you do when you go to a local networking event. Replicate that online. So when I go to a networking event, I don't hand somebody my card and say, I've got a special coming up next week. Let me tell you about this program. I say, hey, how you doing? How's business going? What are you working on these days? How's your family? You know, where are you going on holidays this year? What do you, you know, what are your big goals? I ask them about them. And so translating that onto Facebook allows you to learn about the people who are seeing your posts. Of course, you can boost those posts to get greater reach and get more people to see those so you get more result. But then when I get no response, when I get very little response, only one or two likes or you know, a small engagement. To me, I look at that and go, that's market research. I've discovered that people aren't responding to that content. I won't post any more of that. I'll try something else now and see what I can post that will get engagement. So by using your page to uh, find out more about your uh, dream clients, by asking them questions, by connecting with them and building relationships with them, then you will know more so that you can create products and services and offers for them down the road.